Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week I thought we'd take a look at uh, an iOS application that's been updated for iOS 7 this week called Launch Center Pro. Now Launch Center Pro was uh, one of the first applications that came out that introduced automation into iOS 7 which basically means that with one click of an icon you were able to do multiple things that would normally take you multiple taps to get done. And so Launch Center Pro set up these actions so that you could go into that application, hit one button and do things like uh, send things to Twitter or pull up different applications and things like that. So what I thought we'd do today since uh, Launch Center Pro 2 was just released this week was to take a look at this application and see how this might help you with your iOS device to improve your workflow. So here's my home screen here. You can see I've got Launch Center Pro at the bottom. It's the rocket here. Let me just touch that and it launches into the application. And right away you can see that they've updated it for iOS 7. We've got the minimalistic design, a little white on there uh, with the thin lined icons and things like that. And so you can see that this has been updated for iOS 7. Now, uh, Launch Center, like I said, uh, is a series of icons that allows you to launch certain actions. And so along the middle there, you can see that we've got uh, groups. Uh, these things in the center are called groups. The things uh, on the outside that don't have the white only icons are actual actions that I can launch. And you can set these up however you want. Uh, for instance, if I go into uh, bookmarks, for instance, if I just touch this, you'll see that I've got all of these different uh, bookmarks that once I hit those icons, it launches those particular things. So for instance, let me, uh, let me just click on Mac Stories here. I just kind of slide over to it. Once I click that, it launches a web browser, and now I'm into Mac Stories. So it saves me a little bit of time from having to go into Safari, uh, put in the Mac Stories uh, I, um, URL up there, or go into my bookmarks and tap on it. So it's just a little bit of a quicker way to get there. Let me just get out of this and go back to Launch Center. So that's how this, how this works. Now, the nice thing is that each of these actions are uh, customizable, that you can change these things around. So let's take a look at uh, some of the settings and things, and then I'll show you how you can set up your own. So if you just click the little gear icon up here, uh, you can see that there are various themes to choose from. Uh, you can use the light one that I'm using, or you can go with a dark or more classic look, which just adds gray to the background. Uh, if you come back here, you also have the ability to back up. And what's nice is you can back up your screens uh, to Dropbox. All you've got to do is sync it up with Dropbox, and it will automatically back up uh, the screens and your layout and how it looks so that you can revert to an old one just in case you uh, made a change you didn't want or whatever. It's also kind of a nice way to see a progression of where you started and where you came from. So if you click on this, it'll actually load it up and actually give you a picture of what it looks like. And so you can see at one point I had my icon set up this way. And I can restore a backup to this uh, whenever I want just by clicking the button. So that's a nice feature that they added in there. Uh, and it's also kind of nice just to be able to see how things have changed over time and how you've adapted it to fit your needs. Uh, and then again, you can see we've got the Dropbox icon there, which just allows you to sync things with Dropbox. So let me come back here. Uh, now... All, as I said before, all of these icons on here allow for different things. Uh, for instance, if I click this toggle one, it actually dims my screen. You can't see that in the screencast, but it'll dim my screen, and I can set the settings of how far I want it to dim it. Uh, again, that comes in handy when you are looking at your screen uh, at night. You don't need it so bright. You can actually toggle it down a little bit. Um, the other thing, too, is I've got a Google prompt on here. Uh, this kind of gives you an idea of how this works. When I click this, uh, it brings up a search. I can type in what I'm searching for. Uh, let's say, uh, you know, Launch Center. And then I click Launch, and it takes me over to Safari and actually puts in the search term and launches the Google search for me. So again, you can see how that would speed up your process, makes it a lot quicker for you uh, to get in and out of, of different applications. Uh, as you can see in the middle, all of this is customizable. If I click this little pencil up here, uh, you'll notice that everything now comes into a focus where you can edit it. And where you see the big plus areas is where you can add things uh, and the little X's take things away. So, uh, for instance, let's go into apps for a minute, and you can see inside the apps area here, I've got two apps. I've got one that uh, translates text to English, and i got another that will set a timer. Now, if I click one of the pluses in this blank area here, uh, it brings up this action menu that allows me to set up my own actions. So what I can do in here is I can set up uh, an action, but let me just click this action composer here uh, to give you an idea of some of the actions that are available. So at the top, we've got system actions, and these are actions that are built into iOS 7. So for instance, if I click bookmark, 
uh, I can actually add a bookmark here. I put the name and the URL address and that will add that for me. Uh, brightness, uh, I can come in here and I can set the brightness. Uh, I can set uh, the toggle if I want to. And I can set the high and the low of how I want the brightness to go. So again, a nice thing to, when you know what your brightness level is, just hit a button, it'll change that for you on your phone. So it's a nice setup, and you can actually set the brightness here at a specific value if you want to when you hit the button. Just go back. Uh, there's clipboard actions, where basically I can place text on a clipboard if I want to put it into something else. Uh, I can place the last photo that I took on the clipboard, and then that way I can have it pasted into Twitter or some other application, Facebook. Uh, I can convert text. I can place, uh, place text into something and hit return. Uh, you can see there's a whole bunch of different, um, different clipboard actions I can do with things when I save text or save photos uh, on my clipboard, and I can take action on it. Uh, for you Facebook users out there, again, a real quick post to Facebook or post with clipboard. So if you've got something that you've copied uh, or that you know is on your clipboard, just click post with clipboard. It'll put all of that stuff into a post for you, and then you can post it to Facebook. And then, of course, post your last photo. Uh, again, it, you can see it just saves you clicks from having to go into the photo, click the share button, launch into Facebook, and put all that information in there. Instead, you can do all this inside Launch Center Pro. Uh, there's a flashlight one, there's uh, in-app Dropbox uh, uh, things here, and I'm going to show you how to set this up in a minute, but you can upload uh, your last photo and then copy a link. So the beauty of this is, is let's say you took a photo with your phone, you can upload the photo, copy the link that Dropbox gives you to share it, and then basically you can take that link and put it into any of your uh, sharing services. You can put it into an email or whatever, and actually then quickly share uh, that photo with uh, family and friends. And so it works out really nice. Uh, you can copy a file to the clipboard, copy a link to the clipboard. So all of these things are ways you can set this up. Uh, email, you can, uh, you can even set up an email with a body and subject if you're sending an email out a lot. And uh, set that up and then automatically have that thing. Once you hit the button, it goes right into your email program with your body and subject already done. All you've got to do is address it and send it off. Um, and you can see it, the integration with Dropbox. You can email a link, email text, or email a photo uh, from Dropbox and uh, put it right into an email. Have you got things with messages? You can create new messages, send to contact. You can do in-app app messaging where you send a message with a certain body or send message to a group. Uh, if you've got a group of people that you want to send a message to, you can set that up as well. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of neat opportunities uh, for you to be able to um, set up your custom uh, information here. You got stuff for Twitter, Safari, all these different things are right in here. Uh, you've also got uh, certain apps work with Launch Center Pro. Again, those are apps that have URL sc uh, schemes built into them, and a lot more developers are building those things. Uh, you can see all the supported apps here that have this information in them. These are just all apps that have URL schemes that work with Launch Center Pro. Uh, and it's kind of nice because they got links to getting to those things right inside of, uh, of the uh, App Store if you want to pick those up. Uh, and then it also shows you your installed apps that work with um, th this application that work with Launch Center Pro. So you can see your applications right from here that work with it. You can select them and then make actions work with them. Uh, then they've got some featured apps for you to look at, ones that they, they tend to like, and then you've, they've got ones that they've recently added uh, into uh, Launch, uh, Launch Center Pro that you can work with. So if you want to see updates as they come in, you can get an idea for how these, uh, when the updates come in by looking at this area. Okay, so that, that gives you an idea on these various uh, system actions. So let's, uh, let's go into, these, into the action here, and let's, uh, let's set up a very simple uh, action. Let's set up an a in Dropbox action here. And so what we're going to do is um, we're going to upload last photo and copy link. Now, when you do that, it brings up the path where you can put in a path to wherever the photo is. Okay, and that's optional. So if you wanted to uh, put specifically the folder in Dropbox where it's at, uh, you could you can uh, you can click on this and actually uh, put the folder uh, file path in there. Um, basically, if it's blank, it uploads it to its own folder that it creates on uh, Dropbox. Uh, you can put a name a naming convention if you want to, and then you can even select the quality. Uh, of the uh, photo that you want JPEG wise, you know, put a photo uh, quality, you know, one to, to f uh, 10 and have it compressed for you and it'll send it at whatever size that you want. Um, so anyway, so that's one way to set up that that action there. And uh, and so you can see that we'll put all that information in there. I'm just going to click done. And so now it's got the URL in there of how it's going to set it up, and make it work uh, down here. I can also set the icon. Uh, I can use the default, uh, which is nice, but I can also do a, a custom icon if I want to, where I can set the colors in the background, 
Uh, so if I want to have gray instead, uh, it even has built-in icons that I could set up if I want to change the icons around a little bit uh, to make it uh, say exactly what it is that I have it doing. So I can, I can set it up this way. Or I can also just add a photo, and it'll take me right into my photo camera library, and I can add a photo. And this comes in handy, especially with actions where you are, um, you know, you're sending things to people. Maybe you're setting up a quick launcher for messaging someone. You can actually put their photo in here and send it off and have that work. All right, and you can also do a schedule if you want to, where you can schedule alerts and things uh, for when this is on here. And then they've got this nice little area here where you can actually share this action, where it takes you to a screen where you put a description in, and you can share it with other users on the Launch Center Pro website. So uh, there should be more actions that will probably be showing up there as more and more people use this, so this app can really grow. Uh, if I click Done, now you'll see I've got this uh, icon over here. Let me edit it again because it got stuck on the photo. Let's put it back to Default and say done and now you see I've got my action right there that I can launch and that allows me to launch into it so you can create all kinds of actions to get things done let me just click done here and another thing that we can do here is if I just click edit again if I click the plus up here on the main screen then I can either set up an action or a group and if I set up a group it's like setting up a folder and I can put in my group name I can choose an icon that fits you know if I was doing uh, chats or something I would put that kind of icon and then that would set up my group on my home screen um, just name it chat for instance and then I click done and you can see now that chat icons up there if I click done again it's up in the corner uh, again to edit it if I don't want it anymore I just click the X delete group and it disappears and it's done so that gives you an idea of how, uh, how you can begin to set this up and customize the screen to however you want. And again, if you edit, you can move these icons around wherever you want and set them up whatever is convenient to you. Uh, a couple of ones that I've set up, again, just to give you an idea. Uh, I've got one here to uh, message somebody. I just click, I just basically tap this. It launches me right into the Messages app with uh, the name addressed, ready to go, and I can send off a message. So again, a lot quicker than finding my Messages app, tapping into it, addressing it, and putting it out there. It just takes care of that a lot quicker. Let me just cancel that. It takes me right back in. The other thing is, is I've got, uh, I've added a couple of extra things here. I've got uh, one password. And so in one password, it stores your passwords, allows you to launch into apps. I've got a search for entry here where I can search uh, for an application. Uh, like, let's say, uh, let's say I search for one password and then click launch. And then it launches me over into one password where I then will put in my password. So let me do that. Okay. Once I have that in there, I just click the unlock button, launches me in and finds the actual 1Password item that's in there and did a search right inside of 1Password. And so again, very convenient, makes it, uh, makes it very easy to use. Let me click out of this and go back to launch, uh, launch bar. So I've got that set up. Uh, I also set up a tasks area where I can create a new event. I can go right into my banking website. Uh, it'll take me right, uh, right into 1Password uh, where I have my password stored, launch me into the website and fill in my passwords for me. Uh, I can do a task with a note uh, into uh, things. Uh, I can set up a new event with Fantastical. So that's what I've done with tasks. Uh, social media, I've got uh, in uh, Tweetbot, I've got my lists. So if I want to view lists, I just touch that or view my timeline. If I want to post a photo or uh, do a search on text, I can do that as well. In fact, if I do a search on text and let's put in, uh, okay, so I put in Launch Center Pro. I just click the launch button here. It launches me into Tweetbot, and it brings up all of the different conversations related to Launch Center Pro. Again, you can see it's launched. There's a bunch in there. So that really works, uh, really works pretty well, and uh, and is a great way to be able to launch things quickly. Let me just go back into Launch Center here. Uh, I've also got uh, again bookmarks. I just left the bookmarks they set up for me, but you can uh, certainly do that. Again, I've got my, my YouTube channel here which will launch me into Safari and take, you, take me right to my YouTube channel and show that information right inside Safari. Again, another just, it's just a great quick way to launch into things, especially if you do repetitive tasks over and over again. This is a great way to, to set those things up so that you can quickly go in, take care of everything with as few clicks and taps as possible. There's some advanced setups that you can do as well. I just really scratched the surface for you, but I wanted to give you a good overview of this application. Well, that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.